is a human resources professional, business networker, and author. She hails from Stroudsburg, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Victoria Mavis. Thank you. It's always good to be back. Can we, can we do the check check? check you don't can't see her. Oh, yeah, you see her fine. Let me just put it right here. It's still okay. visible. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Thank you for that. So, um, so it's good to be back. Uh, visitors, welcome. It, it's good to see you here. And uh, part of my presentation is usually about upper visitors, but today we're just going to work on member things. So visitors, I, I just encourage you when you see, you know, the activity we're doing, you jump right in there and uh, join us with that activity. So just okay. So and you guys have done a little work ahead of time, so I appreciate that and thank you for, you know, taking on the assignment that Bill gave you. So here's the, the question of the day. What does this bag box, whatever you want to call it, of diapers, a pregnant woman, and your B&I chapter have in common? Kate. Kate. Um, <laughs> good. That was good. That wasn't quite what I was thinking. Of. And, and really the answer is, and you guys kind of alluded to it, is that the baby creates a demand for given products and services, right? For those of you who have babies, these are familiar kind of things. There's a lot of other things that follow the, the diapers. Um, but what I want you to think about, regardless of what your business is or your profession is, a baby creates a demand on your unique product and service also. Now some of you I know struggled with, right, what do I do that's baby related? You know, and I heard that in your commercials. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on that today. Because I want you to think about it this way. You know, these kind of events are happening every day around us. Do we not know, besides Kate, do we not know somebody who's pregnant? And pregnant, going to be pregnant? Too many. Too many, yeah. And so it's a common thing. So we get, here's where it relates to your business. Are you giving referrals for these kind of things? And some of you would say, uh, maybe, maybe not. And the other question is, what about receiving? Now, what would your business be like if every time you knew there was a new baby in the world, in your community, you got a business referral? Would that not be cool? Okay. So that's what we're going to focus on today is how we give and get receive, receive referrals off of what we call life events. Um, and this is uh, out of Ivan, uh, Dr. Ivan Meisner and uh, Lee Abraham's new book, Money on the Table, that we actually talk about six life events that occur uh, continuously and in our in our in our environment, and how to use your products and services and your connections within your power teams to get more business for everybody. Because I, I believe you that some of you are closer to that baby conversation. Some of you may be a little farther away, but there's still a baby connection. So what I want you to do is uh, take out a piece of paper or flip off your roster. We're going to do a little exercise before we uh, do group work. Now there are actually six life events that are mentioned in the book, um, Money on the Table, and I want you to write these down. Number one, business builder. This would be a person who's new in business, trying to grow their business, but they're focused on the growth of the business. Number two is getting healthy. Number three is getting married. Number four, no, what? Uh, that's good getting this. <laughs> Sorry. But number four is actually relocation. Number five is a new baby. And number six is a real estate construction, remodel, maintenance, or some kind of improvement of real estate. Okay, so you got those six life events. Now, what we're going to focus on today is just the baby one. You know, in the future, we'll be focusing on other ones, but we, I just want you to, to look at the baby. <coughs> Everybody's in their power teams, right? Okay, so you're going to take two minutes in your power team, and everyone's going to come up with one product or service that they can supply to a healthy <coughs> or growing family. Now, for those of you who struggled with it, this is your time to you, use your team members to help you come up with some things that maybe they see and you don't see. 
you got two minutes to do that. Now, what I, I need from each team is kind of a lead person who's going to write down the member's name, write down what it is, and then when we come back together in two minutes as a group, we're going to get up quickly and just announce here's what we found. Okay, you guys are good with that? Go, you got two minutes. Okay, I'll write it down. <laughs> I'm in personal with my Oh, you and me, Bill? Oh, he's personal. No, it's perfect. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Reason might be an idea. He's looking for someone that's uh, in the company. Thank you. Yep. Tell him I sent you. Okay. I'm the only one involved. I'm the only one in. Okay. Quickly, you're less than a minute. services and uh, the four of us uh, have different products and services that we can provide for people with babies and uh, Mike Fleischman in his graphic designs can design baby announcements okay. think about that uh, Levy with P2P computers she can create a backup system for all of the family's photos and videos and everything that's you know important uh, for us and our babies um, Clinton can create a remotely controlled rocking crib cool. from either a website <laughs> or Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Seriously? And uh, at Yellow Book, we can create a, uh, a directory resource uh, for any baby needs. Dale Manning, Yellow Book 360. Good, good job. Bill, you're good. Bill Edmondson, Sutliff Buick GMC Cadillac. We are personal services. I, of course, sell cars, or more specifically, SUVs that have child latch and tether strap hooks in them for safer riding for your car seats and they're nice and big so you can get the family in and all the baby junk. Now babies don't have hair but Susie had a really good idea. They have natural shampoos for the mom so that it won't get into the mom's body and affect the baby and of course nice vitamins to keep mom fresh and refreshed. Great idea. Thank you. Kate, you're good. Okay, we are property services. We have two um, in construction, lines and oh, shit, I'm sorry, shades and closets and um, furniture. So Lynn could provide room darkening shades so the baby isn't disturbed by the sunlight if their light has lots of room. Amy can provide all the furniture for the room, um, cribs, all that stuff. Andy is um, providing a baby safe swimming pool. Oh, cool. I'm still not sure exactly what a baby safe swimming pool is. What you say? Joey, that's that's a different category. And lots of padding. That's for sure. And we would provide um, space and baby proofing. Sharp corners, take those away, and that kind of stuff. Good job. Thank you. Oh, okay. We have this whole table as a team. 
Okay, we have Matt here who will supply, will supply security with your health needs and uh, repairs and things like that under his insurance policies. I will provide you with more space in the new place. Uh, Chris will do the estate planning with guardianships for children. Also, Dan will do future planning like colleges and weddings, which will occur. Uh, Jody will do the hospital protective plan so the parents can stay home with baby. Amanda will do the energy and the nutrition for the parents, as well as the baby. And Jeanette will do the rest and recuperation with her lodging facilities and also keep all the visitors away from the baby with their germs <laughs> so that they can come into the house when they're fully uh, rested and uh, uh, clean. <laughs> you guys did an awesome job. Give yourselves a hand. Okay, so hopefully that gave you, did that give you a different way to look at getting referrals in life events? So what I want you to do, your activity from now on is going to be, we're going to say from now on, we're going to, we've got a couple of other things to help teach you how to work in that context, but you need to do some more activity, you know, between now and then. So between, I want you to think about again the life events. So between now and when the time the director comes back to visit, be focused on how do I have baby kind of things. Now what's going to come in with that is not just baby kind of things, but how do you get into a conversation with somebody who's pregnant about P2P, you know, maybe computer solutions or whatever? That's part of what we're going to learn over time. But for now, we just want to start thinking about and honing our commercials for having a baby or a growing family. So the next time I come back, uh, the three things we're going to cover is, you know, I went to those six life cycles, right, that we started with. Now, some of you probably identify more strongly, correct? with other services, like the getting married or the business builder that you felt you could probably, you know, you knew what to do with them. You may not know how to, to do the baby. We're gonna work on that uh, when I come back. But we're also gonna identify, because when you're in your power teams as we put you, not necessarily is that baby conversation, you know, a, a one that's easily handed off, correct? You may go like somebody in this team may really have a close allegiance to you guys because of the, what the baby causes. So we're going to look at how do we interact between the different power teams on those everyday life events to bridge referrals and get those. And the third thing we're going to do is look at a way uh, uh, to systematically make your network, your network visible to prospects uh, like uh, people having babies on an ongoing basis that will generate a higher level of referrals for you. So that's what there is to come for now, just focus on babies. And I want to um, leave you with the thought that, um, you know, a lot of this, um, I, I don't want to say a lot of this, this whole information is from the book Money on the Table by Dr. Ivan Meisner. Uh, if you want more information about how to work with the concepts we talked about today, go to moneyonthetablebook.com. And the website is dedicated to information on that. So with that, thank you. Make it, uh, you know, make it a, a fun week, a fun month, and focus on uh, babies and building growing families. Thank you for your time.